I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. You and the person you're dealing with. Recent past energy. And then we'll move on over. We'll take a look and see if it's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with, Four of Cups, and it's with the Ace of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups, it can be a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So when you get the Four of Cups in a reading, it's important to be sure that you're counting your blessings and not to spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now it's with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card in the tarot. It relates to love, happiness, affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings and Although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill more than usually. So you should be feeling really good about life overall. And it's actually a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. So, Four of Cups clarified by the Ace of Cups for your recent past energy between the person that you're dealing with. What I'm picking up, though, Gemini, is that you or your person wanted a new beginning with you. Someone wanted a new beginning with you. Um, or it could have been a fresh new start. That is with this Four of Cups. So what that tells me is that you were not interested or you were not accepting of what they offered you because the kind of new beginning that they wanted it's usually with matters of the heart when you get the ace of cups but something tells me that it wasn't the kind of offer that you wanted it wasn't the, t the type of um, new beginning that you wanted for some reason or another so you were not accepting what they were offering you Whatever they were offering you, as far as a new beginning goes, it made you feel devalued. And it made you feel, probably made you feel unloved, because that's what the Four of Cups is about. Feeling devalued, unloved, and you're just not accepting what this person is offering you. I don't know, maybe the way they went about wanting a new beginning with you or it could have been that or maybe it had certain strings attached to it but for some reason you did not want to accept what this person wanted to offer you and showing that they wanted some type of new beginning, but who knows, maybe it had strings attached to it. And it made you feel devalued. Yeah, so that's a recent past energy between you and your person that you're dealing with now. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles 
and it's with the death card. The Queen of Pentacles can indicate that you could be spending time, money, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable, and this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. And I say this because you, you could have people looking to you for insight or maybe advice, and you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This could be a time period when you get a lot accomplished. Now, it's with the death card. The death card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will. And such things are not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation. It indicates change. Definitely a time of deep, deep transformation. It's likely to be both internally and externally in your life. It could be some, it could be that some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now this Transition, it can be very difficult for some people, even though the change, the change is nearly always needed. So, coming up, Queen of Pentacles clarified by the death card. The message that I'm getting, Gemini, is that, yeah, it looks like you could decide to fall back from this connection or the person. Because the Queen of Pentacles is my falling back card. Just taking comfort and joy in the things that you're used to or just the ordinary things. Because if you look at the picture of the Queen of Pentacles, it's the card above the word present. This lady, she's in her backyard. She's sitting in her lounge chair. She's got her dog sleeping on her toes, keeping her feet warm. She's feeding the birds and squirrels that come by to say hi. And she's cuddling her, her wallet, her pinnacle. Pinnacles can mean money, cash, coins, finance. She's taking comfort that she's got some, some money in the bank. So she's kind of like just falling back and just, you know, appreciating the ordinary things. Because she's realizing that. You could be realizing that um, you're losing interest in this person or the connection. Yeah, you, you're you still kind of stuck on the type of new beginning that they wanted with you. Like I said, it made you feel some kind of way. So that's what's coming up. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, we got this King of Swords, and it's with the Three of Swords. Now, the King of Swords can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful person or man in your life. He will, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could be tempted to say or think only about how things affect you personally, especially if this card is not representing a person in your life, so you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords, a very, very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this person to change his mind or to do what you want, so you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. Now, it's with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords. There's an element of sorrow, and it's undeniable when you get this card in a reading. But what's on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness, any pain that comes up now. This way you can move past it. Yeah, this card can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So, you have to make sure you allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow. 
for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. So your challenge, King of Swords, clarified by Three, three of Swords. Hmm. So what I'm picking up is that Yeah, you could start to realize that, or you already know that you're dealing with someone that could be like this King of Swords. Like I said, it's a very forceful type of person. This person will overstep their bounds. Um, high, highly opinionated, could be really arrogant. Um, sometimes this type of person can be, um, like it's their way or the highway type, type of person. Really, really, um, maybe pushy. This person will, like I said, overstep their bounds. They're stereotypically manly. This person will mistreat you. So... You could start to realize coming up that um, you could actually get hurt by this person even more than you could be feeling or you could have been feeling. Yeah, so you might just start to realize that this person is on the narcissistic side. And you're, you're probably fearing that you could get even more hurt if you continue to deal with this person or you could realize that you could start to feel even more devalued and unloved by this person if you continue to deal with them because they made you feel like that with the recent past energy the four of cups when you did not accept their offer or what they were offering you for a new beginning. So yeah, it looks like you're starting to, to realize certain things about this person. And yeah, you might start to feel like they're a bit on the narcissistic side. It's all about their wants and needs. And you, you're realizing that you could actually continue to get hurt by this person or the connection. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Sun card and it's with the Emperor. Now the Sun card, with this one, you're likely, well things are likely to be going really well for you. However, even though your finances are in good shape when you get the Sun card, but this doesn't mean you should lose focus on what's truly important in life and money is not very high on that list for some of you and for some of you it is it's actually going to be a good time to socialize to or to at least remember to socialize meet new people get out and about or just put yourself out there whether it's on, online through social media these days that's what you, that's kind of what you have to do and if you're looking for a new job and you get the sun card, this can signify that it's right around the corner. Now it's with the Emperor. The Emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary. Even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed. And that's what you need to think about when you get this card in a reading. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and your focus. The Emperor signals for this, but he also signals that now is a time that you should find it easier to make hard choices. So, enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So your outcome, Gemini, the sun, clarified by the emperor.
So, what I'm getting is that, yeah, you might just decide to go cold on this person. Because the Emperor is a very cold type of energy. The Emperor gives me chills. The Emperor, the card below the word outcome, can be a boss, a leader, or arrogant. They, they're the type of person that don't want to come across as being vulnerable. They don't open their heart. So you could realize that you don't, you no longer want to open your heart to this person. And you're just going to go cold on them. And you're going to look for warmth with someone else or just somewhere else. Like the sun card is about warmth, sunshine, bright and happy. Yeah, you're looking for it somewhere else. Even if it's just at a park where she's sitting. She looks like she's sitting in a park. Or at the beach or somewhere. It looks like, it looks like she's at the beach. The sun card above the word outcome. You just want to do things that makes you feel, feel the warmth again. Because you, you for some reason, it, it, it could have stopped with this person. Maybe at the beginning you felt warmth with this person, but the way that they approached you about a new beginning just made you realize, yeah, this person could continue to devalue you and make you feel rejected and unloved. So you're going cold on them. Yeah, just like the Emperor. And you're just looking for warmth. You're looking for your sunshine elsewhere. Could be with another person or, like I said, maybe it's just at the beach. There's a lot of sunshine there. Especially if you live where I live in California. Yeah, so that is the reading that I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself. Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people in the reading can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, family member, co-worker, situation. Just take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Jim and I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you're having a wonderful new year. I'm wishing you the very best for 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.